Hello everyone, I'm Hayden from CGY Plane Spotting, and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be uh, learning how to edit golden hour shots, particularly bringing out the light as well as gradients on the sky. So what we're going to start out with is bringing up the shadows so that the belly is a little bit more visible. And what we're going to do next is we're going to denoise the photo. This is honestly one of my first steps in editing a photo. It gets rid of the noise and in my personal opinion, this is way better than Topaz Denoise because it doesn't compromise sharpness. It's basically free uh, as it comes with Photoshop, provided that you shoot raw format. And it doesn't compromise sharpness, as you can see, only really slightly. And you can just fix that afterwards, which I will show how to do. So my Denoise typically takes around a minute. Depends on your Wi-Fi or uh, computer processing speed. I will just speed this footage up. Okay, so now that the denoise is finished, what we're going to do is we're going to fix up the sharpness here. So I'm just going to drag the sharpness all the way up to the max, and you can see how this has added actually quite a, a significant amount of noise to the photo. What we're going to do to fix that is I'm going to hold Alter, Alt, uh, Alt on a Windows Option on a Mac and just drag up the masking. And once that outlines every line to a amount that satisfies you, like this, then it's good. So what we're going to do next now is we're going to do the basic edits of the shot. So we're just going to drag the exposure up ever so slightly, contrast up, highlights down, shadows up a little bit more, whites down, blacks up, clarity goes up, no more than 20, dehaze up a little bit, shadows go up to compensate, texture should be no more than 30, vibrance should be no more than 20 in my personal opinion, but it depends on how desaturated the shot is. And the tone curve is where things get interesting. What we're going to do is, we're going to bring the lights up, the highlights down, the darks up, and the shadows down. And now we're going to crop the photo. So in cases like this, what I like to do is, I like to tilt it a little bit away from the direction that the plane is, and then just crop it in tighter towards the engines, like that. However, I actually did that the wrong way. And that looks much better. So, what we're going to do now is, this is where the true golden hour work happens. What we're going to do is, we're going to go to the color mixer here, click on this little thing right here, and drag the hue ever so slightly to the left. No more than 30, in some cases. Some cases it will largely depend, like on how desaturated the shot is, on, on other factors, also depending on how uh, perfect the golden light is. What we're going to do next now is bring up the saturation of it. Not too much. Probably no more than 30. And the luminance up. No more than 20. We're also going to work on the sky a little bit. The hue goes to the left ever so slightly and the saturation goes down with the luminance going up. And now with the color grading, we're going to go to the mid-tones and drag them a little bit to the red. Kind of the orange in some cases. Uh, don't forget your lens corrections as well, largely depending on the lens. Uh, in this case, because it's a Sony uh, RX10 IV, it's not possible. Speaking of which, huge thanks to uh, one of my Heathrow spotting friends for uh, lending me this shot to edit, because I don't have a really good golden hour shot like this, so this is the ideal shot for that. What we're going to do next is, this is the real weapon in this case, in the color calibration down here. In my opinion, this section is criminally underrated. What we're going to do is we're going to drag it to the left, the, the blue primary's hue to the left, and you can see that this really affects the golden hour lighting. Um, not too much, and not too little, so to a point where it still looks realistic, but also not stupidly fake like this. So I would say probably around 30, depending on how you worked on the hue earlier. Saturation goes up a little bit. And now what we're going to do is, this is where the magic happens on the sky. We're going to create a linear gradient going downwards like this. We're going to drag the exposure down. Not too much, not too little. Like minus 1.25 or so, depending on how you did the luminance of the sky. And then we're going to go to subtract color range and the color range that's on the plane, so the golden hour lighting. And because it didn't, mi it didn't get everything, we're going to select that as well. Now you can see that we've altered the sky. A little bit of the plane too, but that doesn't matter because it looks a little bit more realistic now. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to create another linear gradient right here. I'm going to do that. Bring the exposure up. Contrast up. Radial gradient like this. Exposure goes up. Just a tiny bit. And then we're going to duplicate and invert. Once we've done that, we'll drag it down. Bring the shadows and the highlights up ever so slightly. And then add some clarity. This adds a small perception of depth, which is nice in the photo. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to continue our basic edits. So let's go to exposure, a little bit like this. Now we'll just check on the detail. The last step in this process is to emphasize the golden light on the engines. So we're gonna take out the brush, make sure your feather's no more than 10, and just carefully mask around the engines, specifically on the turbines. This will not be the easiest thing, um, and this is especially useful if you shoot at a somewhat lower shutter speed. Now what we're gonna do is, gonna bring the exposure up, contrast up, in fact, quite a bit. Shadows up. Not too much. And then clarity up quite a bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the other side of the plane where the other engine is. Go back to this. Wait for the full res version to load back in. And just mask around the turbines. Make sure you're nice and careful with this. Okay, so now that we've done that, you can see that we've emphasized the golden light on the engines quite a bit. Um, let me just show the quick before and after of this. That definitely worked very well. Now, highlight clipping is actually very common in golden hour shots. Don't mind it. Uh, in some other cases, I would recommend that you bring the highlights down to cancel that out. But it's very common in golden hour shots like this, so you don't need to worry. The shot is not overexposed. And that's basically it. All you need to do now is just open the shot up in Photoshop, uh, put Topaz Sharpen AI over this if you really need to, and um, just export the shot like this. I don't advise exporting it in Camera Raw because that will often heavily increase the file size. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Sujuwai Plant Spotter, out.